Hey guys, Cindy Williams here. Did you hear? Travel Weekly just named me the leading social influencer in the travel industry. Oh my gosh, so honored to get this award. And I thought, what a better time to do some give back and teach you guys why it is so important to use TikToks, reels, and shorts to help you grow your travel business. So if you're wondering what is short form content, why do I need to care about it? And what are Cindy's best tips as the leading social influencer? Then keep on watching. That's what we're doing on the show today. You better step into the light. Just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. All right, guys, don't forget to take a moment, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell over on YouTube. We bring you amazing content every single week to help you grow your travel businesses, and I don't want you to miss a thing. If you're new here, my name is Cindy Williams. I'm the CEO of Wanderlust Campus, which has programs, resources, and tools to help you scale your travel business to the next level. And today we are talking about short form content. If you're new here, by the way, type a little I'm new so I can welcome you to the community. But we're talking short form content. I was so honored to get this award and I'm like, listen, I, we work really hard, so I'm not surprised that we won the award, but um, it's just such a cool thing to watch our journey and also to think back about how my feelings about social media were when I first got, you know, when, when social media first came out, I was like, I'm not an Instagram model, like I'm a mom of three, like is this social stuff for me? But I went all in, I learned and we dove in and we've learned so much over the years and years. We were actually the first in the market training travel agents on how to utilize and use video and optimize it in a marketing system. And we're also the first out there that are teaching short form content in the travel industry and how you can use it to really leverage growth in your travel business. So I want to give you some of my best tips today, but let's start from square one, right? What is what is short form content? Short form content is, is defined as content that is anywhere from three seconds long all the way up to 10 minutes. So, and I'm gonna go through which platform and kind of their timeframes here in just a second. But short form content is on TikTok. It's kind of the, um, the original short form content, if you will. I mean, IG used to have uh, IGTV, which has gone away now, but TikTok started as Musical.ly and then evolved into TikTok. They were the kind of originators of that short form. Um, then there's Reels. On Instagram, there are Reels that you can put short form content. On YouTube, there are Shorts, YouTube Shorts. So those are the three different places that you would create uh Con short form content to put out there for your business, or you may be already consuming content from those places as well, right? Let me talk you through the time frames because that's important to understand. Before you get into creation mode, this is a mistake. Some people will say, oh, I made a five minute video and then you'll go try to put it on Instagram and it won't work because that's over their time limit. So understanding that short form content time limits are vary a little bit from uh, platform to platform. So TikTok can be as small as three seconds and it can be as long as 10 minutes. So that's TikTok. Now, Reels and Instagram right now, as of the filming of this video, has the same uh, time frame. It has to be at least 15 seconds, and it can be as long as 60 seconds, or that's what they recommend in terms of the time frame. YouTube will, will cut you off for sure at that 60 minute mark. So that's where it's kind of sitting right now time-wise. And that's gonna be important when I get down to best practices later to teach you how do I repurpose this so you don't go crazy, because obviously you don't have time to go to three platforms and create three videos. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys kind of a sneaky way to do that <laughs> here in a second. Um, it's also defined as kind of snack size content or content that can be quickly consumed uh, by the viewer, by the watcher, whoever's consuming the content. And you guys have probably used it from a consumer perspective, right? Like you've seen reels, you've seen some TikToks, you've seen some shorts. So you're probably already using it from a consumer perspective, but we're gonna flip over and get on the business side and go, wow, how do I actually use this from a business perspective, right? So before we do that, I wanna tell you guys, I put together a really cool, speaking of videos and content, I put together some freebies for you. I put together our most watched videos over here on YouTube. You can get that by going to careersonvacation.com slash spring or wanderlustceo.com slash spring. I will pop that down in the comments down below for you as well. 
check that out because there's a ton of content to help you more on this topic in those as well. But let's get into um, why you need to be using short form content or what I call micro content. Here's the stats for you guys, okay? Um, I pulled this off of uh, a report, HubSpot Marketing did a great report on this this spring and had kind of the updated data. TikTok is trending, it's about to hit 1 billion. It will hit 1 billion on their platform this year. They have done that in less than six years. That is incredible. Instagram is trending around 1.3 billion and YouTube 2.6 billion. So when we talk about the outreach that is available, I always say as a marketer, you have to go, where are the eyeballs for my, where are the ideal clients and also where are their eyeballs? You know, when we were kids or when I was a kid, it was like, you had to be on TV. You had to be on the local radio. You had to be in print. Like that's old school marketing. Some of those things sometimes can still work and that's fantastic. But in today's environment, it has never been an environment where we as the business can go direct to consumer through a video format. You can do that through long form video on things like YouTube and Facebook, but short form Man, you can get into their into those eyeballs. You can get in front of people without having to pay marketing dollars to marketing companies, right? That's a big deal. You should be taking advantage of that. So remember, that's where the eyeballs are. Let me give you some more stats. 73% of consumers reported that they prefer to learn about products and services through short form content. Let that sit in your soul for a second, right? They might not want to go watch a... Uh, hour long video on YouTube. They might not want to read through your website that has pages and pages of you trying to sell them on what, why you're so great, right? They want to know like, is this for me? What problem are you solving? And move on to make a decision if they're going to know, like, and trust you and then go from there, right? So 73%. Um, short form video also has the highest return on investment is, is what was reported on the study. And also users are spending around 45 minutes a day on TikTok. You guys, think about that, right? And it's literally just scrolling, boom, boom, boom. Show You gotta be on their feed. You gotta get in front of those eyeballs. So video is still king, right? Video is still king, YouTube is still king, but short form content is the future. If you don't jump on this train now, you're going to be left behind. Just like I was preaching for years, I was begging, travel agents, you gotta do video, help me help you, right? <laughs> I was the first one. I am so proud to say so many of the brands that we consulted with and helped launch their travel brands, so many of the travel agents that we helped really get a marketing plan together that embraced video when I told them to do that, they now are in our million dollar club, our multi-million dollar club. And they're like, Cindy, thank goodness we did these things that you recommended. We stay up on the trends at Wanderlust Campus. So do not discount short form video. I didn't want to do it either. I was like, oh, one more thing. I can't, right? But you got it. You got to adjust. You got to move with the market and the mo market is moving towards this. So let me give you my top five tips that you definitely want to know. Number one, you got to have a strategy. I know you're watching other people's TikToks. You're like, oh, I got to be a comedian or I got to do dances. I don't really do any of that stuff. Like I might have a funny one here or there just because it's related to travel or related to what I'm doing. Um, but you got to have a strategy. You don't have to be a dancer. You don't have to, you know, kind of like my thoughts on Instagram, like, oh, I'm never going to be the bikini model on Instagram, right? You don't need to do that. If you show up as you and you show up in that authentic space and you figure out your strategy of like, how am I going to serve? How am I going to help? What problems am I going to solve? Answer those questions and start building out your strategy. You will have more success on platforms. The other thing to remember is these platforms have different algorithms. If you start doing some reels and TikToks, the first thing you're going to say is, oh my gosh, Cindy, what is going on? My, my reel went viral, but my TikTok fell flat or vice versa. I just had one a um, couple weeks ago that went viral, got 1.5 million uh, views. We filmed it at holiday time and went viral on TikTok. On Instagram, I got like a couple thousand, right? Don't like sweat that stuff. You have to remember these are different algorithms. It depends on who's following you, what they're responding to, and every single platform, their calculations behind the scenes that you have zero control over is what determines if a video kicks off or if it doesn't. The other thing I want you to think about is you don't have to have viral videos 
to get your clients to buy a vacation from you. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, I'm only getting a couple hundred views. Who cares if they're the right views? How jazzed would you be if someone showed up at your house today and they're like, can I watch you book trips? Or hey, can I learn about your business? A hundred people lined out the door there that are peering in and wondering and curious and potentially going to do business with you at some point. You would be ecstatic to have a hundred people, right? Considering doing business with you. So think about that. Don't even look at the views when you're new. It takes time to get your traction. It takes time to kind of get into uh, a flow and get into a rhythm with each platform. So remember that, take that pressure off your shoulders. I promise you'll be more successful if you do that. The other thing is keep it simple. Remember when I talked about those times a little bit earlier? Here's the deal. If you keep them all under, keep them over 15 seconds and under 60 seconds, that's your sweet spot. If you create a video that's in that sweet spot, you can then put it on every platform, put it on shorts, put it on reels, put it on TikTok, see how it does, right? So keep it in that right time frame, and then you won't have to create a different one for TikTok and then a different one for Reels and Shorts. All right, number four is you gotta just get started. I know it's a learning curve. I know it's a lot to learn. I know it takes a minute. I promise when you get into a rhythm, it will smooth out for you. And also, if you're an agency owner or you're at the level where you don't have time to deal with, you know, kind of the, oh my gosh, I gotta make it, I gotta put it out there. Think about hiring a VA. You could create or batch record content once a month and then have someone else actually push it out to the places for you if you don't wanna get caught up in all the technical stuff if you're, a, if you're an agency owner level. Um, and the last but not least, I see this mistake all the time when I watch new travel agents trying to use short form content. You guys are forgetting your calls to action. <laughs> Before you hit the record button, what do you want the person to do at the end? Do you want them to follow you? Do you want them to contact you to, to do a vacation consultation? Do you want to just, you know, want them to comment so you can maybe get more engagement? You just remember to do your call to actions. It's not that hard. I know when you're new, it's it's one of those things that you didn't, maybe sometimes you don't even think about. When we train our students at Wanderlust Campus, we give them an entire process on here is how you have a strategy on short form. Here's how you leverage all three, uh, all three platforms. Here's how you optimize it and all of those things. But call to actions is one of the ones that is most missed. So I want to remind you guys, the reason and the purpose that you're using short form content is you are trying to get you're trying to build your no like trust factor with potential consumers and then convert that traffic to where they're doing business with you. That is why you want to lean in. Last thing I want to say is if you guys struggle with this or you're like, Cindy, you are talking a different language to me. I feel like you're on earth and I'm on Mars. Listen, if you need help with this stuff, who better to help you than our, than Wanderlust Campus? And you can be in my class next week if you want to. Uh, this is what we train you in our Careers on Vacation program to help you build a strategy, get your hooks together, your content together, your call to action. How do you work on all these things for the different platforms? And more importantly, this is just one type of marketing that should go into a multifaceted marketing plan for your travel business. Get it done, get it as if you watch any of my marketing videos, you know I teach you how to plan, create, and then schedule. So your marketing is running in the background so you can focus on running your travel business, scaling it and growing it. If that's of interest to you, definitely check us out over at careersonvacation.com. This is our most popular program. I'm showing you a uh, inside of a Wanderlust campus. That's what it looks like. You get all of your modules, you get classes that you can go to every single week with me and my team. Those are some of my marketing experts right there. Yes, you work with real people. This is not an e-program. So definitely go visit us at careersonvacation.com uh, to visit there. And if you want to talk to the enrollment team, just go careersonvacation.com slash ready now, and you can apply for the program. So we can teach you guys how to be the next generation of influencers all over the place. But don't be an influencer just to be an influencer. I don't consider myself an influencer. You want to just get your marketing in a place where it's delivering high quality, ideal leads that you can convert and then have all the abundance that you want to grow and build the life that you want around your business. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please give us a big like and thumbs up and don't forget to follow the channel. I'll see you guys next week. I wish you so much love, so much abundance. I wish you the world. Bye guys.